ladies and welcome back to lady lovely locks oh i hate doing that weird little cheesy um thing that people always say but i if you do like the stuff that i post on my channel hit the like and subscribe just so you get my information because i'm not a big youtuber so it might easily get dismissed through all the other videos of the more popular youtubers so if you like honesty and realism and all that, then subscribe to my channel. With that, I want to talk about this piece. This is John Renault's Blake in the color 6F27. So I have actually reviewed this video. Oh my goodness, that's really, this mirror is not flattering to my backside at all. Unless I just think my arms are skinnier than they really are. But anyways, um... This is the Blake in 6F27. I actually did a video on this before, but it I decided not to use it because she was really needing a washing, she was stiff, and it just I didn't want to represent her the wrong way because that is what her wig would look like after lots of time being worn and it was just so I thought I'd wash her. This one I actually washed myself and conditioned at home. A lot of times if I want my hair styled, I take it to the wig stylist because I'm lazy and they just always do a good job and I'll have stuff thinned and whatnot. <clears throat> I'm actually going to take this off. I, this is just a cute way, guys, if you know you want to switch up your look um, or if you're new to wigs and you're just trying to get used to them and you, you're not used to the hairline, you know, buy little headbands like this. I bought these, I don't know, decades ago when I still wore my own hair, it would hide my thinning hairline. So, um, I bought them on eBay. I, I don't even know. You just have to look up like on eBay or Amazon, um, boho, hair wraps, head wraps, hair ties, head scarves, hair scarves, all those different word searches, uh, to find stuff like this. I have tons of them, tons of them. Um, I would, like I would do a video, but everybody would want links and I have so many hair ties I've bought all over the place. I, I don't have links for everything. So if you want me to do the video anyways, without all the links of where I buy stuff, but maybe just ideas, let me know and I'll do it. But, um, you know, otherwise I just thought it'd be a waste of time. So let's talk about Blake. Blake is Remy Human Hair. She's one of John Renault's most popular uh, human hair pieces because, I mean, look at this, ladies. This is the hair that everybody wants like we uh, everybody wanted thick hair and some of you who had cancer or um had some sort of autoimmune disease or something you actually had hair like this at one point and you lost it and you get blake to help rekindle the love that you have for your hair i never had hair like this my hair has been crappy my whole life and um so to be able to buy a wig like this, ooh, I'm gonna see if this works. Hmm, I forgot to remember what on. So hopefully this is, you know, makes things look better. But um, so to be able to buy a wig like this and have hair like this in any color that I want is like, makes me the happiest person in the world. It makes me love wigs. I would never ever um, grow my hair out, even if I could grow my hair out thicker, It'll never be thicker, but I, I wouldn't because I just love wigs. They're so convenient. I can get ready. You know, it takes me like five minutes to do my eye makeup. That's all I put on. And um, and that's it. I throw on a wig so I can get ready in such a short amount of time. People are impressed with how done I look and it didn't take me long. But it's because I wear wigs. It's just, it's so convenient. So anyways, so she's Remy Human Hair. This cap is 100% hand tied. So, um... It just, you know, it fits very close to your head. The nice thing about human hair is it doesn't give you that full wiggy look. You know, it's very natural looking. This looks very natural. It doesn't look wiggy. Nobody ever thinks these are wigs. So um, they have a full mono top. I mean, if you've never seen, ooh, this kind of moved around a bit for my headband. But this is what the cap looks like. <clears throat> this is makeup. If you've never seen this before, everyone just takes regular face powder and brushes it there. And it just gives you more of that scalp look right there. Does, do I think that looks the most realistic? Absolutely not. 
And in fact, the next time this girl needs a washing, I'm gonna take her to the wig salon so they can add rooting. But I'll get to that. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is what the lace looks like. Um, just for some reason, it seems like the lace with human hair is less irritating for me. I don't, I don't know why, but I always thought that maybe the lace was different, but I mean, I'm looking at it. It seems like the same exact lace, but, um, this is, so do with that what you will, but the cap's really comfortable. Um, they have petite sizes too, which this might be a petite. Some of mine are petite. Some of mine aren't. Do I think it's important to say John Renault petite in whatever wig I buy? No, because it, it's the same wig. It just fits smaller heads better. So mine, petite, petite wigs fit good. The regular size ones, um, you know, there's a little bit of looseness, but it, it doesn't irritate me, especially on their hand tied wigs. It's not an issue at all. Do I think you could fit a large head? Um, probably. And here's the thing, if it feels snug, just get the cap wet and put it on your hand and stretch it out. Problem solved. I won't ruin the wig, I promise. Um, unless you are like have a man size head. If you're a man when you wear a wig like this, you're gonna have a problem because your guys' heads are way bigger than ours. So that's just a matter of fact. These are made for women's heads. So here's the lace front. The lace front isn't bad. Um, you One thing you have to do for these the knotting always looks better on human hair. That's just the reality. But um, to get the key to these, to keep them looking realistic, and that's kind of why I had my headband on, is to keep this hair lifted because over time it'll lay flat like that. And there's some girls on YouTube and, and, and Instagram. God love them, they're wonderful, they have great stories and everything. But their hair always looks weak because it's always like, it's like too close up here and it's like laying like that. And it just, I just want to pull it back on their head and lift up their hair. It's really what I want to do. So that's just the one thing about these is you got to use some water, um, a hair dryer, maybe even a steamer might work to help lift those front hairs. But uh, and now that I look natural. Now I do absolutely hate John Renault's monotops when it comes to their human hair. It it doesn't look realistic and it drives me nuts and it looks cheap and I'm not gonna lie I don't like that um you know luckily people aren't looking enough to you know really care if I can make this in a silk top here's the thing I I love John Renault's colors I love their human hair colors but I don't like their their mono tops on their human hairs. It just doesn't look realistic. So that's where the rooting is gonna come into play to help it look just a little more realistic. But it's like, you can see like there's, um, and I, I use powder underneath as I, as I showed you, but um, it just doesn't look, something about it doesn't look right. And it's that striping that drives me nuts. So with this one, I can't lift it everywhere unless I am, you know, well, for one with, with hair like this, you've used, you really got to use water. So now you can't see the um, the scalp. It goes away and it looks very realistic. Human hair is harder to flip, in my opinion, than synthetic. So you're, you just have to be aware of that because it's just, it takes a little more finessing to get it going. Um, by the way, I let this air dry. This is what Blake looks like air dry just very natural wavy this is why i love my human hairs for casual days because um my my synthetics are what i use for day nights because the hair is already done i don't have to do anything i love these for just casual because this is how it looks that nobody would think this is a wig and once i get the rooting done it'll look even better so yeah i love john and his colors i don't like their mono top their lace front isn't bad on human hair as long as you keep the hair pushed up and the cap's comfortable. Now let's talk about these fibers. So if you've ever scoured, you know, social media about John Renault fibers, not fiber, hair, you know, they say they're Remy human hair, but a lot of people feel like the hair degrades, they'll never get another John Renault wig again, and you know, so forth and so forth. So I, so I have too many wigs to wear. I've, you know, I haven't worn any wig daily. The hair, you know, obviously does get tingly. You gotta work through it. You gotta make sure you use a good 
deep conditioner like Olaplex or what's that other stuff? Silicone mix. That's a really good one. I love that one. I'll put my wigs in there in a Ziploc bag and let it go sit in the sun and get nice and warm. And then I'll um, rinse it out, let it air dry. And that helps keep it conditioned. So, um, you know, with these wigs, you are going to have to worry about return hairs, especially at the nape. And um, if you don't know what return hairs are, pretty much it's kind of like when you're sewing, you have to have enough of the thread to sew in. So, you know, the, 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 what you're sewing, the string doesn't, the thread doesn't pull all the way out. So the same thing with human hair, it's not like they just dab it in, dab it in, dab it, poke it in everywhere. They have extra hair, you know, so while this one is this long, the hair is actually down to here. And it's that extra hair remaining that the, is the return hair. So when they say it's Remy human hair, which means all the, you know, the cuticles are all going the same length, it's actually kind of a lie because that cuticle is actually um, hanging out somewhere around here. And the only way to, a good way to get rid of those is you have to, you want to take the wig off. You want to get one of those um, combs like this. So let's pretend this is like the back of my head. You want to start, um, you want to make sure it's fully combed through for one. And then I don't know if you see as many up here, but you want to start kind of doing that. And then you're going to be able to pull a bunch of short hairs. I don't know if these are return hairs because these are the bangs, but you get the idea. You're going to see all these short hairs and you want to snip them. It is not a quick process. It is not a quick process at all. So do it when you've got free time, you're watching a movie, listening to an audio book, something like that. And, and it might, you might not get it all done in one night, but you know, if you want your wigs to your human hair wigs to last longer, that's what you have to do especially with John Renault. Um, they're not my most favorite fibers. I, like I said, I haven't worn a wig daily all the time to really um, get a feel for that. But I know a girl who, um, she actually is a wig owner. Her name is Haley at Designer Wig Out in Arizona. Love her. And um, she had a Blake 12 and 12 FS8 that she wore for a year straight and she did that with the return hairs, got them all out, and she kept her wig in fantastic condition. So even so much that she was gonna sell it to me for like a really good price, and I um, actually was considering it. At the time I didn't want a 12 of state wig. No, I'm not opposed to it. But, um, and it was still in fantastic shape, and I totally would have. So, um, yeah, that's what I gotta say about the fibers. You just gotta learn how to maintain them. Um, I don't have a full opinion on how much they'll last with daily wear, but wigs, you have to spend more care, more time on them. I'd rather spend more time on a human hair wig than a synthetic wig, truth be told. So let's talk about this color. Um, this color is 6F27. It is a brunette with this 27, it's like an auburn mixed into it. It's definitely more of a brunette, but like with red undertones. Today, someone's cutting my son's hair He's got red undertones. I'm like, oh, it's got red undertones like yours. I'm like, hm, hm, joke's on you. But <laughs> seriously, it's, it's, this is, you know, it's like a warm brunette with auburn in it. So it's, it's definitely warm, warm colored. What I call it more of a brunette or a red. I mean, kind of like the lady said, it's a brunette with some um, auburn undertones. So that's what I have to say on this. Here she is. How long she is. She's a long one. Not as long as Kim. I don't know if I'll ever get a Kim because that's a lot of hair to maintain. She's really expensive. But here she is. Let me know if you ladies have any questions. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Uh, find me on Instagram too. Love you. Have a good day.